Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kayla Rose and today I'm going to be doing my one year hair update video since I shaved my head. Yes, believe it or not, I shaved my head back on June 23rd of 2020 and it is now June 27th of 2021. I'm finally sitting at the one year mark, which is really crazy because it felt like it wasn't gonna happen for the longest time. In this video, I'm gonna be kind of recapping all of the stages that I went through leading up to this point, but I'm not gonna go into too much detail. So if you wanna go back and look at all my other update videos, feel free to do so. I'll put them in a place List. Be sure to stick around to this video just to see how long my hair grew out and what hairstyles I've been attempting and if I would still recommend shaving your head or not. So let's start from the very beginning when I first shaved my head back in June. My hair was damaged. I wanted it off. I had bleached my hair three times in a day and then tried to dye it blue and my hair, whenever it got wet, it was gummy. I dyed it a couple more times after that thinking that my hair would just magically repair itself, but it didn't. And I had been contemplating shaving my head for a little bit before that too and I thought this was like the perfect excuse just to start over. Anyways, I cut my hair down to about a half an inch. I wanted it to be shorter, couldn't find the cutters to be able to do that. That was pretty cool, just having no hair there for a while. Whenever I was in the shower, I would run my hands like this and then it would flick the water out in front of me so it looked like little raindrops. <laughs> it was really entertaining. And then the growing out process kind of started and then it wasn't as much fun as it was in the very beginning. When I reached about the two month mark, that's when my hair started to grow, but it was growing like up on the sides. It would swoop out like this and then the top part would just be sticking straight up and then the bottom part would start growing down. Just before three months hit, I was able to start putting in brettes and little clips in my hair just for decoration. It's not like it would pull any hair out of my face. So after three months, when we hit around the four month to five month mark, my hair was getting a little bit longer. It was all starting to grow down at this point. However, the top part was starting to get a little bit fluffy. I was transitioning into the Manny stage of my hair, which we all know Manny from Ice Age. If you don't, this is him. He has that really nice like puffy hair on top. <laughs> That's what I was starting to look like. And it's not like I could make it go any flatter if I combed it and whatnot, it would still want to puff up. Then I reached around the six month mark and that's when I was, had like pretty decent bangs. I think I only did one video where I had my bangs out like this and then I pulled the rest back like that. That was cute. I'm just not into having bangs. I don't like the way they feel on my forehead. It wasn't until about the eighth month or the ninth month where I was able to really start putting in hair ties and pulling my hair back in little sections. I really, really liked this hairstyle in particular where you pull it up into little sections. If I felt like I was over using that one, I would just go for the single one down the front. There was a couple times where I attempted like the Dutch braids with the double ponytail situation. For the most part, it's been pretty much the same ever since the nine months to now. It's just gotten longer. So in January, my hair was about four inches long. Right now, my hair is just about six inches. I feel like my hair has been growing a little bit slow, but anyways. I thought I was in the mullet stage before, but I am most definitely in the mullet stage now. This is the side. <laughs> This is the back. Honestly, could not tell you how the back looks, so. I'm gonna take this, cut it off. But I'm scared because I don't want it to be too short. Even though I've already had a shaped head, it makes no sense. Now I think I'm getting to the point where my hair is long enough where I wanna experiment with like hair curlers. I think that would be fun. So if you want me to do a video showing hairstyles or attempting hairstyles with this length of hair, please let me know, I would be happy to do so. So yeah, this is what my hair is looking like. When I first shaved it, it was half an inch and right now it's sitting at six inches. I think the main question that I would be asking is, do I still regret shaving my head after a full year of growing it up? I don't <laughs> anymore. I know my last update video, I was really strongly in the regretting stage. Now that I'm seeing it a little bit longer and I'm to the point where I actually want a haircut, I'm feeling very excited and happy with my progress. Would I recommend it? Yes, I would recommend it, especially if you're contemplating it for a long time so you don't know if you'd look good with it you're not quite sure about the growing out process I mean looking back on all of it it's a little bit fun to just see all the different stages that I went through this is my virgin hair and it's so nice to be able to see my natural color and then see the way it looks in the sunshine personally I think the worst part slash stage I've experienced with growing my hair out so far is definitely the Manny stage where it would puff up like this and then come back down just because I couldn't really do anything about that. <laughs> I think at the year and a half mark, it'll definitely be at the point where my hair can just rock a really short bob and it'll all be the same length and I can push it behind my ears. I'm getting way too excited, I can't even speak. So I guess the most important question that kind of caused me to shave my head in the first place is does my hair feel any healthier and is it the same texture as before I shave my head? It feels so much healthier. I can actually tug on it while it's wet and it maintains its structure. It makes shaving my head that much more worth it. So yeah, this was the update. Sorry 
if it's a little bit short or it didn't have as much details as you were hoping. Like I said, I do have like three other update videos you can go check out on my channel. Would you like to see another update from me in another three months or six months? Let me know. I feel like I ask this in every single one of my update videos, but would you ever consider shaving your head? And if you already have, what stages do you resonate with the most and which one are you in right now? Thank you so much for keeping up with me and my progress. You mean so much to me and your support means the world to me. I'm so grateful. That's pretty much it. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!